Hi, Kat. Hi, John. How's it going? It's good, man. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Yay! So good. Awesome, so dude. Good, Look, we're recording. Woo! Yes, we are. How are ah, you while ah, we're recording? Ah, hmm? ah. <laughs> I'm good. Good. I'm tired, but good. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I can't imagine why you would be tired ah, at all. Uh, we'll get into it. We'll get yeah. into it. All right. I, I like it. Uh, um, so before we get into it, what is it we get oh. into? Oh, uh, we get into some. This. Yeah. We get we get into some podcasting. It's gonna take a minute to get back into rhythm, I, right? Yeah. No, I I got you. <laughs> and and it, like even even had we been recording every week for the last five or six weeks, um, I think I still would be off today. <laughs> just, just just one of those for, days. Yeah. For a little bit of context, it was uh, my beautiful wife Michelle. Uh, to That's whom right. I am married. It was her birthday yesterday, <laughs> yes. and um, I had I've been pre- kind of laying off the sauce uh, yeah. for an extended period of time, mm-hmm. and it turns out I lost a lot of my um, <laughs> of my tolerance. Kat, and John, you'd worked very hard for a long time to build up that tolerance. I, <laughs> I appreciate your appreciation of the hard work it took uh, mm-hmm. to toughen up my liver. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's uh, it's not everybody who recognizes. Well, you know, I I applaud it, and I'm sorry you've lost it. So eh. much work, just eh. gone. It's it's so much cheaper for me to not be able to remember things now. Um, oh boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wee. So yeah. Anyway, that's that's what's going on with me. Uh, but yeah, this Sweet. so this is a podcast. It's called My Mistake. We talk yes. about mistakes and nice. uh, our mistakes. <laughs> Yeah. Our guests' mistakes. Sometimes. Mistakes made by people in history, be it ancient yep. or recent. Um, yup. Yeah. And then sometimes we talk about bison. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of what happens. It sums it up. It does. Other than the the, <laughs> the, 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 the shit shooter, which. Right. Yeah. Which sometimes th- we. Sh- this shoot might some, be, but it might. Shoot some shit. We, we might we might have some content here. We'll I see. I think we. I mean, I think we have some content, John. All right, all right. I think I think we'll 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 wait to pronounce judgment till the end, and we'll decide whether we had enough content uh, on board to call it not a shit shooter. That's fair. Let's okay. do that. All right. I like it. We'll put a pin in it, and then we'll circle back. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Oh yes, this is I, uh, just, <laughs> dear mistakers. Uh, when, oh, no. when Kat and I were planning uh, the time of this recording <laughs> earlier today, uh, uh, she confided in me that she had spent all day yesterday at Disneyland. That's true. And, I, and then I confided in her that I had <laughs> drunk my weight in several different types of liquor, uh, and and then I. I, that led me to decide this is going to be our best episode ever. We're, uh, I mean, best listen. One yet. Top form. Um, Word up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, <laughs> are we jumping in? Are we doing this? I think we're doing it. Okay. I think, yeah. Jump. So, I'm um, jumping. <laughs> so, you know, John, I was on, I've been on quite an adventure. Is that right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. And I left town. I jumped in the van. Mm-hmm. The van that we've talked a lot about. Slow white. Good old slow. Slow white. Uh, we jumped in the van. I jumped in the van. Mm-hmm. Finally, it was done. There was a list of things we wanted to get done before I left. And as the time, as, as sort of the reality of the situation uh, was coming into focus, I realized that if I wait for all this stuff to be done, mm-hmm. I ain't never leaving, John. Right, right. <laughs> so we we came up with our priority list. Okay. And I, I, I told Yuli, our, our view mechanic, I said, okay, scratch this off, scratch that off, and scratch off this. Can you Hopefully. do this other stuff by yeah. Friday? And he's like, yeah, I can do that. I'm like, okay, great. So none of these things that were scratched off were vital to the operation of the vehicle? Is that... No. Okay. So like um, the stove, remember, did I tell you the stove? There that was there a was leak. a leak. A huge leak. Yeah, yeah. flames. Um <laughs> 
That was on the list of non-priorities. So we capped it. He capped it. Okay. So okay. no gas could get to the stove. So okay. that was fine. And we have a little camp stove that I've had since I was a kid. My mom and dad would take me camping. Nice. Um, Is it a Coleman? It's that's, a Coleman. That stuff Hell yeah, lasts dude. forever. It does. Yep. And it works as good now as it has ever worked. Mm-hmm. And God, I love it. Honestly. They like, just used to make stuff so much better. <sighs> They did. Do you know what I found out? That's just an aside. Mm. Do, do you, Kat, do you have an instant pot? An instant pot? Mm-hmm. What is that? <laughs> I, I, okay, I'm going to guess you don't. An instant pot is something a lot of people have. It's uh, like a combination crock oh, pot in, and pressure oh, you mean, cooker. You mean Instapot? A lot of people call it that. The name <laughs> is actually instant pot. But that's Because for some reason, that one letter missing completely threw me off. Two letters. Insta? Instant? Instant? Mm-hmm. Listen, listen, at least I knew the name of it, okay, John? Yeah, the wrong name is what you knew. That's, that's it's, good. it's an Instapot. It's yeah. not an Instant it, Pot. No, no the, the brand name is Instant Pot. And really? It is, but everybody calls it. Go ahead. Look Why it does up. everyone call it Instapot? I don't. Because of Instagram, probably? I'm not sure. Anyway, I found out. That, well, I'll be goddamned. Uh-huh. You're right. I, oh, wow. Okay, I'm glad we got that on <laughs> On tape. Well, I mean, I can't it can't dispute because it says it right there, instant right. pot. There it is. Why I feel betrayed and lied to. I am sorry. I am sorry that that's the way you feel. Wow. <laughs> anyway, in, go ahead. In, in any case, <laughs> I, I I love our instant pot. I assume that. Do you have an insta pot? I don't have any kind of pot. You don't have you no. Know, <laughs> Dry, that's huh? Not, that's not true. <laughs> um, no, I don't have an instant pot. It sounds okay. so weird when you had to pronounce I, it. I instant know. pot. Instant pot. Mm-hmm. I don't. Ha- I don't have one of those. Okay. Well, we have one. I love it. <laughs> A lot of people love them. Okay. And one of the things that I found out is that they manufactured these things really well. Like a lot better than most companies make things these days. Okay, great. And so you would think that would mean that their business would go really great, right? Yeah, no. Um, uh, the, the problem is they made them so good that everybody who's going to buy an Instant Pot has already bought one, and they are built like fucking tanks. Right. So there's not, they don't need to buy another one. Oh. So the company has filed for bankruptcy. Oh, no. That's so sad. I know. So everybody, go I buy mean, another Instant Pot. Go to get help some the Instant company and to, Pots. And to encourage... Good manufacturing practices instead yes. of planned obsolescence. I mean, the holidays around the corner, John. It's a perfect it's, gift. It is. It is. Give them to your friends, neighbors, your gardener, you can uh, give, your you dentist. Can give them, you can give it to people and you can scrape the last two letters of the first word <laughs> off. And then and then you can actually give somebody an Instapot. It's like, oh, Instant Pot. Oh, this is like the off-brand? <laughs> wow, Fitzgerald's so cheap. Mm-hmm. Why did he get me an Instant Pot? <laughs> It just doesn't sound as sexy, John. I'm sorry. Instant I'm sorry. pot. I honestly did not expect this to, to blow <laughs> up like this, but it's just changed the name. Maybe that's why they're uh, bankrupt. Oh, you think if they if they called it an Insta pot, they would sell yeah. more? Okay. I'm just it's All sexier, right. isn't it sexier? I mean, man, I don't know. I, I called it. I went around calling it an Insta pot. I think even in the in the article, or no, actually, I think uh. I saw it on a on a on a video podcast. But anyway, they even oh. referenced the fact that people call it an Insta pot. <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. I I have I have so many questions. I'd love to I'd love to really dive into this. Mm-hmm. No. Well, but we're, not, these... going. we're yeah, not going. We're not. We're not going. Right. No. But no, no, I do no. want to. I do want to. An instant pot is a combination crock pot and pressure cooker, and it's amazing. And it cooks like you can cook a whole chicken in it in like 20 minutes or something crazy, Great. and it's delicious and tender and whatever. I love That's it. That's all anybody needs to know. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh... <laughs> you can cook vegetables in it too. If you're Lame. Predisposed to that. Exactly. So. Mm. <clears throat> We make a list of things that we don't care about. We'll do it when we get back. One of them is the stove. We'll do it when we get back. Right. Yeah. So nothing important to safety or reliability. Like it's none of the the van stuff. It's all the RV part. Right. So the thing is, is like, and I've learned, I've learned so much about being an RV guy. Mm -hmm. It's a really steep learning curve. I imagine. Um, But, you know, the, 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 the thing is you got this car. Right. And you got this recreational vehicle, and you combine the two. So you got to worry about the car stuff, and you got to worry about the RV stuff. So I feel like every RV has a car part 
uh, car aspect to it. So it's of course, like, right. and you're worried about both of those two things. You have a it tiny just... house on a big car. Exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. It just it it multiplies the amount of things that could be going wrong at any given time. Got you. And and trust me, if you know someone with an RV. Ask yeah. them, hey, what's wrong with your RV? They will have a list. <laughs> I promise you. I've le- this is a bonding thing that I've learned with RV people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so you, anyway. you've been initiated into the oh boy the world of RV guys. Have I ever? Mm-hmm. So, um, I hit the road, Jack. Sorry, John. But you did come back. Right? And I did, yeah, that's true. I'm back. Mm-hmm. Um, I headed north. Uh, and we kind of talked. We talked on the road. So I, I kind of get. Have we? No, we didn't do anything about that. I haven't done anything with that recording. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll uh, we'll put it at the end of this or make it its own thing. Who knows? Yeah, I think that'd be. It'll good. be a surprise for everybody. Um, maybe it's we... stuck right here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe. Wasn't that cool? Oh my God, so fun! I sound uh-huh. so happy. Um, so um, uh, on the road by myself, I enjoyed it. I like being by myself. Not mm-hmm. all the time, but sometimes I like it. I, I am a big, and people don't realize it about me because I'm a very social person, but every now and then, just some John time is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to have some alone time sometimes. Word. So, um, out on the road, and a few things happen mm-hmm. before I get to, to Leah, before I, I, I catch up with Leah in Vancouver, Canada. Mm. Um, and actually, the day that you and I spoke, we... we uh, as you may have just heard or will hear, hear later, uh-huh. John and I did like a quick, like, uh, you know, little cat on the road segment. Word. And I was in Eugene, Oregon when you and I talked. And Nerdiest that... city name ever. <laughs> Eugene. Mm-hmm. So, and I, d- I don't think I mentioned it because I was so freaked out by it. <laughs> so I'm on the road. Mm-hmm. I'm on the five. It's a it's a very popular uh, trucking route. Right. A lot of big trucks. Um. And I'm 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 go- we're going uphill. Are we going uphill down here? And we is you go- and your teddy bear, right? We yeah yeah teddy. Uh-huh. Um. Is actually his name's Barry. Thank you. Okay. Um. But we as in like the people on the road. I think we were headed downhill. Okay. Um. And there is a I'm like in the second to right lane. There's a big old truck ahead of me, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden the big old truck has a blowout. Oh. And the tre and this was like maybe just this happened right before you and I talked. And so the the, the blowout happens. Mm-hmm. The the tread complete comes completely like in in one piece comes yes. off of the wheel. So it's like the tread is rolling. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. It crosses the the crosses. I'm watching all this. It crosses the highway. Bounces off the middle divide, uh, the the center divider, then starts rolling back in mm-hmm. front of me <laughs> in the van. Uh huh. And luckily the timing uh, was just right, mm-hmm. and it just rolled right ahead of me, and I was able to avoid it completely. Um, but John, that rattled me a bit. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine that it would have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because. I, yeah. Boy, those are big, scary trucks. Yeah. And uh, they're just, yeah, I'm, I'm very intimidated by those big fucking trucks. Mm. I, yeah, I mean, and you should be. It's kind mm-hmm. of like mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. giant thing that could kill me, really, like without even meaning to. Yeah. Uh, I should be afraid of it, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I, um, so the, oh, yeah. Uh, no, but then, so like in my head, I'm going through all the scenarios. I'm like, okay, what if it came through the windshield what Mm -hmm. if it took out you know like i was just like oh there's so many things that could go terribly wrong oh yeah and those things they're they're pretty lethal uh yeah i kill people yeah yeah i was once uh my my biological father uh had Mm -hmm. we we swapped cars for a period of time and i was driving a 1974 cadillac sedan deville which belonged to him uh and i had a a situation happened where the tread came off of the tire all in one piece, slapped around on the side of the car and then flew off. And Jesus. Like, and then I was on a tire, which it like it's bald in a way that no tire should ever can ever be this bald because it like the whole thing. It turned out that he had put retread tires on the car right. uh, and then didn't 
tell me about it and I didn't know. And it's actually illegal to put retread tires on anything but those big trucks. You can put retread tires on the big trucks as long as because, you know, there are two on each axle. Right. Um, they Only one of them can be a retread. I see. And then the other one has to be, you know, a full, a full, whatever. Anyway, it was <sighs> awful. And I feel for you because I know it was not fun for me. And yeah, I, I think it's hilarious that we talked right after and you were so traumatized that it, you, you had amnesia. Well, yeah, because I didn't like, I in my mind, it's like, well, if I don't talk about the bad stuff, I'm not inviting the bad stuff. Like, ah. you know, in my head, that made sense. I mean, that's, um, that's road superstition. Sure. Like, you sure. Don't have that. And, but also, I'm like, God, what if I, you know, oh my God, this funny, crazy tire story. And then tomorrow I actually get in a serious accident. And that's the last thing that, it, you know, anything, anyone ever hears from me. I think you're pre-disastered. <laughs> and besides, if it's going to, if it's going to happen, like, wouldn't it be cool? like you predicted your own death? I think that's no, pretty cool. I, I don't no? know. Is that cool? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cooler than dying and not predicting your own death. I, I think. guess. Maybe. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that really died. kind of, <laughs> you know what? Same. Mm, cool. We have that in common. That's crazy. Mm. Um, we have so much in common. Yep. Um, so that was a bit of a, that definitely like kind of bummed me out. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I could die out here. What a bummer. Mm-hmm. Um, so that wasn't great. Um, what else happened? Um, uh, yeah, just, you know, I was just like, ugh, this is not, this is not what I was hoping it would be. Uh, you know, yeah. it turns out it wasn't like a, uh, you know, a fun, you know, road, ro- uh, road trip movie, as it turns out. Well, what, nothing, were other nothing parts... really, nothing really wacky happened. Just like, right. oh God. <laughs> no, it's, no. I, it's just the awareness of your mortality, right? Your little memento mori happened yeah. there. Reminder and of you... death. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, it's like I don't need reminding. Like, trust me, I know, I know how this ends. Um, so that was that. And then what else? What happened? Otherwise, it was kind of uneventful, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I get up to Leah. She's at the. I I, mean, I pick. I cross the border. I cross into okay. Canada. No problem. Love it. Uh, I went to the airport. Picked up Leah, where we had lunch in town in Vancouver, and then the plan was to drive, and we did drive up to her brother Jake, who's in Squamish, British Columbia. Right. Which is, if you're if you're paying it, if you're you're following along at home, it's between Vancouver and Whistler. Mm-hmm. Beautiful part of the country, um, and we're we've just left lunch. We're we're gonna start heading up the road. And are, you, are you pedestrians at this point? No, no, we're in the, we're back in the van. Okay, back in the van. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're at a stop stoplight, mm-hmm. and the van stalled. And we're like, Ooh. oh, that's oh, kind of weird. Oh, huh, mm-hmm. weird. Well, okay. So you know, put it in park, start again, no problem. Like, hmm, that's <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that uneasy <laughs> chuckle. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So we head up the mountain. It's beautiful in Squamish. I recommend it to anybody. It's a beautiful mountain town, as they say. Right. Be- just honestly, like, stupid beautiful. It's really, it's like almost upsetting how beautiful it is. You're just mad about it. <laughs> um, we have You're a very have nice... to leave here eventually. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> we have a lovely visit. Um, I had a good time hanging out with Jake and uh, and all his buddies up there. And so we're like, okay, we're only going to stay up a couple of days. So we, we start packing up the van to take off. And mm-hmm. um, uh, we're like, okay, this is a, the night before we're leaving. Let's go to the grocery store, get some food. The van won't start. Slow no, no. go. Like, oh, that's slow no go. Slow no um, go. Well, that's upsetting. Mm. Um, and we continue to try. Jake's like, hold on. I got maybe it's a battery. He's got a booster thing. We try that. It's nothing. It's not mm. working. Mm-mm. And we're like, well, well, that's not good. Uh, we we are we are um, far from home. Yeah. And we have a wedding that we need to get home for. We we were actually supposed to be flying to Hawaii for a wedding. Mm. Um. So we that's why we were coming home when we were coming home so that we could you know come home, basically do laundry and leave again. Right. Um, so it's like, oh no, this is bad because 
We can't be here. We gotta, we gotta get we gotta get the fuck on the road. Can I can I just tell you right now I'm envious of your lifestyle, Kat. <laughs> We're stuck in Squamish in beautiful <laughs> Canada near Whistler, and we have to fly to Hawaii. Oh, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's been exceptionally interesting couple of weeks. My life isn't normally like this. Okay? Gotcha. So <laughs> so we're like, well, fuck, I guess we got to like do we call mechanics. Maybe we can get somebody to come here. Maybe, you know, we don't know. Right. So wake up the next morning. And Leah's like, let me just try it. So she goes, she tries it, it starts. No mm. problem. First try. I'm like, well, that's okay. That, I mean, that's good. It's just like, okay, now we have to leave it running all the time. <laughs> we can never turn off the van. So we just need gas. We can fill up the whole back of the <laughs> yeah. van, cargo space. With gas. Now, they don't like it when you don't turn off the gas at the gas station, right? Yeah, I know. Do they get I mad do. at you if, if, they do, if you I, do that? I do it all the time, but I'm in a pretty. Do you really? So, yeah. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm at least like, I'm concerned. I don't know if yeah. you know this about me, John. I'm a bit of, I'm a bit of an anxious <laughs> <the> person. <laughs> and Leah no, is no not. Idea. Leah is not that way. And I wish I could be more like Leah. Like, <laughs> she is able to see the perspective of things mm-hmm. she's able to put things more into context than i can because if like something bad happens to me well then everything's just ruined <laughs> like that's it we're done I, yeah I, I feel like leah and i have are, are a little bit closer <laughs> together in that it's yeah like, probably yeah yeah, maybe. yeah and it's annoying john <laughs> no, just kidding. i'm just kidding so Why aren't you getting more upset and worried <laughs> exactly mm-hmm um, so she's like, okay, well, I'm going to go and do the errands and maybe, you know, if it's going to break down, it's going to break down. If not, you know, we're, we're t- I'm testing it out. It's like, okay, it's a good idea. So she goes, she gets Your gas. Your wife is brave, by the way. She's I'm very gonna, brave. I'm going to drive this car that is like not reliably going to be able to get me back. <laughs> she's brave. She mm-hmm. goes, uh, it doesn't start once at the gas station. Okay. But then she's able to kind of like wiggle the gear shift a bit. And then it started. Oh. So she gets back and she tells Jake and I this information. Jake's like, it's fine. You guys are totally fine. I mean, I there is part of me. It's like, yeah, Jake, you want us to leave. That's why you think it's <laughs> Get fine. Get out of here. <laughs> I mean, when it's your sister. <laughs> I, mean... I know. He's, he wouldn't have. He, yeah, I was just, that's me projecting. <laughs> That would be me. Like, oh, God, get this fucking band out of here. Okay. So, uh, so we're like, I guess we're going. <laughs> I guess we're doing this. All right. So we were going to, we went, like, okay, well, let's go get something to eat. So Jake takes us out to lunch and in and his very nice truck. And we come mm. back. Like, all right. Thanks, Jake. Hugs. Love you. Love you, too. All right. Got to go. Bon See voyage. you. Bye. Click. Doesn't start. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, we got to we gotta get this checked out. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going. I'm like, no, we got to get it checked out. And even if we wanted to go, it was it was not starting this time. Right, right. So then the next morning, we by that time it was the, uh, no one was, all the shops were closed. Hmm. So we wake up at 7 a.m. and start calling every mechanic in town. Right. And the general answer that we got uh, with the time variation, uh, that's the only difference here is like, mm. oh, yeah, no, we got, we're like two weeks behind here. Like we got, we got no time for you. Um, <laughs> so that was like 10, like literally 10 calls. Wow. Call after call after call. So it was two weeks uh, the average or? Yeah, because yeah. Squamish is, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not a big, it's a town. Right. And it's. It's uh, winter tire season, so everybody's cars in the shop to get new get tires, and make sure it's all good. Like it's like a busy season for those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was upsetting, okay. and uh, I I found like this mobile car guy. He's like, oh, I can come by and check it out. Turns out, and he's a great dude, like very nice. He's like training to be a mechanic, and he does this on the side, and he could basically like jump your car and maybe like you know, tell you, oh, I think it's this or that. Right, um, right. So he, he's, he, he was able to come out that night. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, he's like, yeah, it's not the battery. Your battery's okay. It's something. He's like, it might be the starter. It could starter be the fuel solenoid, pump. maybe. So yeah. Jake's like, okay, starter. Yeah, yeah. So Jake crawls under the van. Do you know this trick? Oh, the, maybe. No, so he crawls under the van. Uh, well, so he, no, he, oh, that's right. He called his buddy Ryan. So Ryan comes over. He's like, oh, well, if it's the starter, you can, there's a trick. Like you can just try pounding on the starter. And it kind of like, you know, jump, it'll like kind of wake up the starter. Oh, okay. So if it's like frozen or. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Jake, Jake crawls under the van, mm-hmm. starts hitting the shit on the starter. Yeah. And it's nothing's working. It's not okay. Working. Um, but that's just the funny, like, it's a. Uh, you just hit the car, really? They just hit it? <laughs> like, okay. Well, if if there's a, you know, if, if there's something that's supposed to spin, and maybe right. there's some, you know, some some rust or some yeah. cals, yeah. Spin. Yeah. Spin. Hit, go. Loosen up. Let's go. go. <laughs> so the hitting, believe it or not, the hitting isn't working. Yeah. Um. And again, we're like, okay, so that's the end of day one being stuck. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay. What's what's our plan B here? We can we have a hundred hundred mile tow on our AAA, which they recognize in Canada, which is it's CAA. Right. Uh, this not... po- this podcast is brought to you by uh, AAA. For all your car automotive needs, call eight 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 five 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 AAA. Woohoo. Um, but no, we didn't use it. But we could like okay, we have a hundred mile tow that could get us just to Vancouver. Like uh, that can get us to Vancouver. It could even get us over the border. <laughs> but I don't know can if they'll tow, tow a car. A, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there should be a law that's like <laughs> I don't know. You're John. not allowed to bring that hunk of junk back here unless it's <laughs> running under its own power. <laughs> but it's like okay, can we find a mechanic in Vancouver and maybe we tow it there? Maybe they have more people, more resources. Or right. we get to transport it. I start looking for transport companies who can just like pick up the car and just take. It's like just fucking get it home. Mm-hmm. So we're looking for our plan here. Um, and in the meantime, uh, you know, we call Vancouver Mechanics. Everyone's fucking busy. It's like wh- we gotta go, John. You and I, we gotta go. Yeah. To British Columbia and open a mechanic shop because it's good business apparently. All we have to do is learn about cars. And then yeah, we'll- it's. Because I John, didn't know the trick. I love that I was, I was trying say, to. I was trying to I was act like say, maybe I knew the trick. I didn't. Know <laughs> I was gonna say if the trick is to hit shit, dude, we can do that. I got hammers. <laughs> like we're in business. We, we got hammers. We got mallets. That's right. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> how much so, would you have paid? I mean, seriously, how much would you have paid a mechanic who'd be like, if you pay me more, I'll work on yours first. Like, what what, what would have been the limit? Oh boy, that's a hard question. <laughs> that's it's tough. Fair. We we fair. would have definitely been willing to grease the wheels if you, yeah, if, you yeah. if you know what I mean. I, I think I I mean unless well I don't know. Do I, <laughs> what do you mean, Kat? Never mind. Nothing okay. weird. Everyone Come has on, their man. price. That's all. No, I'm no. <laughs> so uh, none of that is uh, no. I mean, and we could decent get the... proposal, but <laughs> to get your RV running. Absolutely it's... not. <laughs> No. Okay. Um, She's nodding her head. I just want to. <laughs> no, I am not. She totally that is incorrect. Yeah. He's lying. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that. Pl- trust me. People believe me. <laughs> sure you do, Kat. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. In the meantime, Jake is calling every bro dude of his, mm-hmm. you know, to be like, "Hey, my sister's van." This you is would happening. think a bunch I, of young dudes living up in the mountains, they're going to have some know-how, some knowledge, some exactly. what have you. No. And, you know, he's like, hey, it's the thing. We're not, it's not starting. Yes, I tried hitting it. <laughs> it's uh-huh. all very much the same. They know about that one. But honestly, yeah. like, all in all, five different dudes came over to look at our van. <laughs> and uh, this is one buddy, um, uh, James. Okay. He is the kind, he's like sort of, he reminds me of my brother, where it's like, if you give him a manual, he can figure anything out. Nice. And so he's like, oh, is it, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. He's like, uh, I'll come over tomorrow after work and mm-hmm. we'll see what I can do. So he's like, he's crawling under the van, he's looking behind, like he's like seriously, you know, he's giving it his best effort. Yeah. And he's like, well... He's like, I don't think it's the starter. Oh, so that's right. We went to the fucking store. We got a brand new starter. We brought it home. 
Another dude, Brad, switched out the starter. Same thing. No, no, no go. No change. Okay. Um, so we did try that. And then, um, yeah, so James is like, yeah, I don't think it's a starter. I think it's something else. Like, it's, He's like, it's weird because this is working, but that's not. And so why isn't it getting blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. All very technical stuff, as you can sure. tell. I know, I know it very well. <laughs> and Leah's like, well, I mean, it was weird because it, when that one time it didn't start and I was at the gas station and she had told me the story. She's like, and I wiggled the gear thing and it worked. I'm like, honey, it's a coincidence. Like, there's no way that it's anything to do with anything. And uh-huh. so she tells the story to James. He's like, oh, shit, really? So he jumps in the van. He puts it in neutral and it starts. Ah. Uh-huh. He's like, yeah, it's got to. It's like there's this switch. It's like a neutral safety switch so that you can't start the par- the car and drive in or something. Gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the car thinks it's in gear. Right. <laughs> and I look at Leah. I'm like, oh fuck, you were right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. He's like, okay, well, um, order this part and this part and buy a crimper and some heat sleeve things. <laughs> and he's like, and then you know. I'll be back this weekend. <laughs> so by this time, we're a weekend. We're we're a week behind schedule. Well, four days, five days behind schedule. So you were supposed to have left five days ago. Yeah. And, and now he's telling you, I'll be back next week. But it was, I mean, I mean, you know, listen, it was like, thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you, James. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was great. Like, whatever, man. Mm-hmm. So we buy the things. Uh, he comes over on the Saturday He's like, okay, I'm, I'll come over to work on it, but like somebody has to watch my kid play with Legos while I do it. So he brings over his adorable You're son. You're uniquely qualified for that <laughs> task, by the way. I'm like, I volunteer to watch the kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he he's sitting, he's cute little four year old boy. He has he's brought his big tub, just some of his Legos, but a huge sure. tub of Legos. And I'm just sitting there watching him play. And every now and then he like looks over at me and like will show me what he's doing. He's like, yeah. huh? I'm like, uh. oh, dude. I'm like, is that like a robot? He's like, yeah, it's robot. <laughs> and then he would go and play, like dig around some more. <laughs> and he'd be like, hey, can you take this part out of here? I'm like, yeah, sure, man. No problem. Do-do-do-do. There you go. <laughs> it was like, I, it was cold outside. Leah was all bundled up. Mm-hmm. I'm inside. There's like, it's warm. I got some coffee. I'm watching this adorable young boy. Uh, really, really create some some really spectacular things. Love it. <laughs> and so like like 45 minutes in, I hear this blah 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 blah. Fan starts up. I'm like, all right, sounds good. Sounds like your your dad's a genius. Yeah. And so um, he switched out the thing. He's like, yeah, you might when you go get home, you should have them look at like the gear. Basically, like the contact. It's not making the right line of contact. So right. the gear thing was actually legit. Yeah, so like, that's... great. Thanks, man. Awesome. I gotta um, ask you a question. Yeah, sure. If if you could reliably put it in neutral and start it, mm-hmm. what what why why did you wait until the like I'm just curious like I I because I probably would have gone ahead and left and gotten it fixed. <laughs> because I that to me is still not very reliable. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It's it's wrong. But it's what I do. <laughs> well, and it was like a thirty dollar part. Yep. This dude is willing to fix it, and it's like, oh, you're you're fixing the problem. Great. And you're in a beautiful part of the country, oh, it, a beautiful yeah, part of another country. Exactly. Yeah. And we're chilling out with Leah's mm-hmm. brother, and it was fine. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so, yes. So great. Love it. We're leaving in the morning. We pack up all of our shit. We take off. We stop for gas. The van doesn't start. <laughs> Oh no! Okay. So we're like, we're like, in, we've already crossed the border. We're like, oh, God, everything's great, bop, 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 bop. And then, you know, this wave of just anxiety comes crashing over me. I'm like, oh my God. I had Leah's no like, idea about this part. Leah's this, like, this and the tire tread. <laughs> no, of course. Uh-huh. Leah's like, listen, we're drowning at home, I'm like you. She's like, ah, oh, fuck, put it. If we have to put it in neutral, put it in neutral. Uh-huh. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, let's just let's just get home. Can we yeah. just get home? So we essentially hauled ass home. Yep. Um, there's also this fun thing that came up as well, is that our dump pump uh, has a leak. <laughs> oh, no. Inside the vehicle? No, no, no. Luckily, okay. it's all exterior. It's bad. It's bad outside. It's terrible. But it's way worse inside. Oh, no. Luckily, it wasn't that. Uh-huh. Um, 
So somewhere up in there, uh, water from one of the tanks, if definitely the black water tank, mm. is is getting to where it should not be until I tell it to be there. Right. Um. And so <laughs> we discovered this. So we are actually in Washington, and the cool th- one of the cool things about Washington is that they have um, at the rest stops they have uh, RV dump stations for free. Fantastic. Which is it's really cool. I think I think California should have that too. It's really nice. Yeah. So we pull into we pull into this dump station. It's like okay, well we should let's we gotta we gotta empty the tanks. Yeah. Slow white's gotta take a dump. I mean, listen, everybody's gotta go. Mm. <sighs> So we pull, there's two stations. We pull into one, and it's really just a hole in the ground, a hose so you can, you know, rinse off whatever mess you may make. Right. And that's basically it. But it's, you know, it's it, it's important. It's it's yeah. a very important mm-hmm. place. So there's there's two stations. <laughs> the station that we pull into turns out the water isn't working. I'm like, okay, well. Okay, I mean we're here, so we're just, I'm just gonna dump it, the tank here, and you know it's fine. <laughs> He's like, "Are you sure?" I'm like, "It's fine." <laughs> I'm agitated. I'm mad. Mm-hmm. I'm over like feeling nervous every time we start the car. So I'm a little, right. you know, I'm, I'm in a mood, John. I got you. I got you. And because I'm the one that has had the most experience in the RV, Leah uh, Hasn't done the dumb thing at all, so I was the one who was doing it, and all like she was like, "Hey, can I? I can help. Can I do it?" I'm like, "Here's the thing. <laughs> it, if I let me just do it because now there's a leak and it's a whole thing. Like, you, have like ha- watching someone do it for the first time who hasn't done it before, and also there's like I'm like, it's gonna be a mess. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a mess." And let's just get through this trip. And then when it's working, I will go and make a point of, you know, showing you how to do it locally. Right. So So are you aware at this point that there's a leak? I have suspicions. Oh, yeah. Because, okay. <laughs> like, we, you know, we'd stop and get out of the van and leave it like, is that us? I'm like, mm. I think that I think that's mm, us. That's us. And so when you, look, when you look down to where you pull the, you know, you can see the hose where you pull it out and do the thing. It's, I can see there's. There's water in there. Oh, like it's, it's a, sloshing. It's a, it's a clear mm. cap, so I'm like, oh, there's fucking water in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, <laughs> so we pull into this RV station, uh, the dump. The uh, the water's not working. Like it's fine. So I put on my my plastic gloves. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I take out the dump tent, the dump, the dump hose. The way that this hose works in this van in particular. Mm-hmm. So you got the hose. It lives in like this sleeve, like basically this container. So it's not, you don't have to like attach the hose and detach it. You just pull it out of this like, it has its own little cave. It's like its own little cave. Right. So right. You, you know, you, and so at the end of the cave, there's a latch. And so the, the cap that's around the end of the hose, there's like a little nozzle at the top that has a screw cap. And that screw cap is what keeps the nozzle, uh, is what keeps the latch closed. Right. If that makes right. sense. So it's like you got to undo the nozzle thing, open the latch, and then you can pull out the hose. Right. So with that undoing the nozzle allows... We're still allows... talking about an RV here, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so as soon as you unscrew that nozzle, uh-huh. if there's anything in the hose, hmm. it becomes like, you know, you have a, sh- a shit hose. There you go. <laughs> You're, you are spraying... A shit hose. Mm. Um, and so I, so that's what happened. So mm-hmm. I undo the nozzle. Here comes uh, here comes the fun. Yep. And you know I get it where it needs to be, but now it's like this is gross. This is disgusting and sure. gross. And I hate everything. <laughs> At least it's your own brand. I mean, <laughs> At least, I mean yeah, there's that. <laughs> so that's happening. Uh, I can't help but make a bit of a mess because I have a shit hose and it's until just running I, as soon I can't, as you open it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not a full on like the the valve is working, but it's there's a leak. So I open the valve and it does then it comes shooting out. But right. there's enough getting through before I do that where it's mm. like ah. It's, <laughs> so, it's a drippy shit hose. It's, it's a drippy shit hose. By the way, episode title. Sure. <laughs> Obviously. Yep. Yep. So I put the drippy shit hose into the little hole that it's supposed to go in. Release the valves. First you do black water. Right. And then you close it. 
Yep. And then you do the gray water to kind of flush out whatever's in the hose. So I do all that. Uh, but there's no, again, there's no water at this station. So, you know, it's like, oh, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I just want to go. Sorry for the next person. But, mm-hmm. and then, you know, Leah comes out and she's like, are your feet wet? <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh. Like, yeah, it appears that they are. I she's hope like, you weren't wearing your favorite shoes. <laughs> she's, our, she's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta take care of that. <laughs> I'm like, fine. So she, in the meantime... Something else fun we found out about the van is that there's um there's like a carbon uh, dioxide detector in the van, which is very important. Yeah, yeah. Carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, do you think? Or all all the things. All, all the all the oxides. Mm-hmm. All of them. Mm-hmm. And so while we're parked at the RV st- at the dump, and because we don't like shutting off the van, the van is running. Right. So all of a sudden we hear beep beep. Beep, beep. So the alarm's going off because right. the fumes are getting into the car. Sure. And so while all this stressful things, like, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I have to go walk to that other RV dump station. It's like right, but I gotta go to right. rinse off, you know, my the the poo shoes, and. She's like, okay, I'm going to deal with the beeping. I'm like, okay, I don't know what you're going to do, but sure. Yeah, great. So I leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm at the station and it's just like, it's on, it's a hose. At the, It's this hose is just kind of like hanging, but it's attached to a, a metal uh, rod essentially. And it's flexible. So like you can pull the hose and like move around with it. Right. But it, and it just, then it just, it wants to go up straight. Right. So it's you like pull at the car on wash it. Where you, yeah. 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 So you pull on it and then you release it. Mm-hmm. So here's the, whoever fucking designed this thing, mm-hmm. you have to press a button to start the water. Right. But you have to, it's not, uh, it's not like right where you need to be. Uh huh. It's like so over you, there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so. I go, I'm like, I don't know how, to... okay, so I turn on the water, and I run back to where the hose is, yeah. and I'm like, you know, rinsing off my shoes, I bring my other sandal so that I just kick off the shoes, and put on new shoes, whatever, blah, 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 and it's on a timer, so I can't just turn it off, Right. it's just, I'm like, ah, so I let go of it, Oh. and it's still running. Okay. John, did you, when you were a kid during the summertime, did you ever have those, like, <laughs> things you'd hook up to your hose? And it's like a wacky, you know, wacky sprinkler guy. And like all yeah. these little... You know, um, funky hair tubes kind of Water thing. tubes that yeah. shoot out water like that. Yep, yep. Imagine that, but a very powerful garden hose. <laughs> this thing, I launched this thing. <laughs> it's like, it's just... oh shit. And guess what, John? I get drenched. Of course you do. I, I cannot avoid the stream of the, <laughs> of the high-powered hose. Okay, now, get... you're, now you've got me mad because the name of this episode might be Avoid the Stream. I, I don't know. It's, uh, mm. So I go back to the van. Mm-hmm. I go back to the van, and I'm, you know, I'm standing outside the, dri- the driver's side. The window's down. Beep! Yep. Beep! I'm Still drenched. Beeping. Mm-hmm. And Leah comes out to the... Uh, you know, she walks through the van to the front so she can say something. She's like, oh, hey, I can't get the, the thing to stop. Why are you wet? <laughs> like, I'll tell you later. <laughs> so I go, I open the back. I reset the, I'm like, oh, you got to turn up the battery and reset it or else the thing, blah, blah, blah. so I fix it. Mm-hmm. I close the door. I get in the van. She's like, what happened? I'm like, mm. the hose and it didn't turn off and the thing, the thing. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we're like, can we just go? I was so <laughs> mad, John. Oh, I can only imagine. So mad. Mhm. Mhm. Did you did you get some dry clothes on, Cat? <laughs> I did. I put on some dry socks. Okay. Good. I got cleaned up. Because this is late October, <laughs> early it November. Chilly. It was hmm? chilly. Yeah. It was chilly. Yeah. In the Pacific so, Northwest. So that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we drove. 
we drove honestly like the rest of the way home was pretty good okay so that evening we spent at her uncle's house uh, he has a nice property, and so he lives in sort of um, one house, and his son and family live in another house. It's a beautiful farm. It's, like, so nice. Awesome. Outside of Olympia, Washington. Mm-hmm. So that was great. That was very nice. We had a good morning with them. We got a tour of the what they've done on the farm since we've been there. Um, and then, you know, we headed toward the coast, and we got to go in the redwoods, and, like, <sighs> it was lovely. Yeah. Um. I got to reenact uh, a, a photo that was taken of me when I was maybe five or six at the Redwoods. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll send it to you, John, so that you can put it in our uh, in our Insta. In our in our file of stuff that <laughs> never gets posted. John is so mad. Like the dog um, pictures that maybe, we solicited <laughs> and received and have not yet posted. Ignored. And I say we, but it's really me. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll I'll do the photo. But let me send it to you now while okay. I'm talking about it because yeah, it's do. so cute. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we spent uh, the most time that we actually got to spend was was at the Redwoods because right. we, you know, we'd lost so much time. Yeah. Um, Did that you have to we, eliminate certain stops completely? Was a hundred percent. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so, uh, you know, it's like okay, you know, we're learning that being in a van, in our a uh, camper van, mm-hmm. you really you have to be flexible and you have to roll with the punches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> is that a good picture? Oh what? my God! I, yeah, this is wow. This is so, this is amazing. So everyone will, at home will see, but I I think I'm f- probably five. Um, there's the signature the signature haircut. So my my mother cut my hair mm-hmm. until I was a teenager, and she gave me the most severe bangs. <laughs> I, I see i see that it's it's not just the bangs that i'm looking at <laughs> oh wait what do you mean How, what, what else could you possibly be looking at? it's those gigantic <laughs> glasses that you're wearing Kat. why did my mom let me get those glasses they're I, bigger than my head you know what they were probably popular at the time i know I but mm-hmm. come on like there's no reason a child should have glasses that you know fucking I don't even know who would wear like uh, Sylvester Stallone's mom wore in the eighties. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I this is mostly I'm just in love with uh, these pictures of you. Uh, so I reenacted that. It was fun. That's awesome. There's something I I need to ask about. Sure. Cat is sitting in front of a sign that says big tree and it has yes. a bunch of statistics sure. about the tree. Yes. And what the, one of the things that struck me is that uh, this early photo of you, young, it says the height is 304 feet, Mm -hmm. and then the height now is 286. So by my calculations, Kat, it it has shrunk 18 feet. I knew you were going to ask this. mm -hmm. It's so funny. Only certain people notice this. Okay. Um, My theory Mm. is that either a part of the tree fell off or it was hit by lightning or something, yeah. Or they have a more accurate way of calculating. Yeah. Either one. Then yeah. I, I, I thought of both this, but it was it was interesting. I'm like, mm, okay, uh, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. It also says it's, it was 1,500 years old then, <laughs> and it's still 1,500 years old now. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's only been like 40 or so years. So like, yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna change the sign years, every year, John. They're not yeah, gonna change are. the sign yeah. every year. Yeah. Mm. Why don't you, why I don't think that's good roll, use of park roll numbers funding. Roll numbers. Just, yeah, just, just like on a gas, on, on a gas. Just uh, like every, uh, like just, it's yeah. slowly just every, tick, 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 and yeah. then oh, happy anniversary! It's been an, another year. <laughs> anyway, we had a good time in the redwoods. Um, mm-hmm. Our first night was actually Halloween night, and we rolled into a beautiful park in the redwoods, mm-hmm. and we ended up having some really nice neighbors. They helped us out. They gave us their 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 fire extra firewood because we didn't have any and it was too late to go look for some. And so they were in like this brand new 2022 Winnebago. Right. What was wrong with it? Well, <laughs> um, we were we went for a walk and we walked up and mm-hmm. the the woman who owned it was like, hey, do you know anything about like house batteries, like van, you know, house oh, yeah. in house batteries? I'm like, mm-hmm. I mean, a little. She's like, if I run the generator, is that gonna 
is that going to help the battery? I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll charge it up. It should charge the battery, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I said, uh, after maybe 30 minutes, I've noticed I've got, like, uh, a really decent charge on that. I said, you should definitely, you should be fine tonight. Like, you know, you'll be good. Right. And we get to talking about how we have it sold in. There's some, she's like, oh, yeah, like, I bought this thing last year, and there's always something wrong with it. (laughs) I'm like, oh, I feel better. That makes me feel better. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be something wrong with the van. Yep, yep. So we make it home, you know, mm-hmm. that was sort of, you know, the <laughs> no more big catastrophes. Um, um, the dump hose continued to be a problem. Now, I, I have to ask, <laughs> did you refrain from from uh, utilizing the toilet? No. No, okay. <laughs> John, when you got to go, you got to go. I'm very aware of that. <laughs> I have talked enough about uh, my problems on, on this show. Yeah, fair that, enough. That listeners know more than they want to, more yeah. than I want them to, but somehow well, I told them. So. I mean, yeah. How? Yeah. Why? How did you do that? What yeah. happened? I don't know. It was a mistake. So, so we make it home. We do laundry. And not we don't have time for much else. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh man, we gotta go to Hawaii. Get in that. Get on that plane. Yeah. So we get on the did plane. you leave at the time that you or did you leave did you have to change your plans at all? Not at all. Okay. Great. We actually came in a day earlier than we would have and I don't know what we were thinking. Like <laughs> that wasn't I mean that wasn't enough time to really be like, "Oh, do we have everything we need?" Like uh, we hadn't packed obviously for Hawaii, but anyway, right. it worked out. Timing wise was great. Got it. Got on a plane, go to beautiful somewhere you're very familiar with Honolulu, familiar. Hawaii. Yep. And it still trips me out that you did this, that you but, lived in Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, for four months. So it's like, it, it's it's too long to say I stayed there. Like Fair I enough. lived, I lived there for a, a shortish amount of time. Sure. But yeah. Long enough to get to know that island of Oahu. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's a beautiful island. Yeah, it is. Um, it sucks we, to be poor there. I'll tell you that though. I, I, I have also, no doubt. It also <laughs> sucks to be poor and look like me. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Um, it was both of our first times there mm. on this island, so that was it. Was it was nice to be there? Um, I mean, it's Hawaii. Of course, it's nice to be there. Yeah. What a stupid thing to say. <laughs> well, this you pretty much if you go to Hawaii, you have to go to Oahu. Like that's mm. where the only big airport is. So like every other airport is like a smaller airport. Right. Well, I've, I mean, I've flown, I've flown into Maui and I've flown into, um, into the Big Island. Yeah. Oh. Back in the day, yeah. you couldn't do that. Like you, it's probably, you had yeah. to go to the hub of Oahu and then fly. Yeah, exactly. It's mm-hmm. things have changed. Yep. Gotcha. Just a little. And it's only been forty years. I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's you know, it's like this tree. It's been <laughs> like enough time for this tree to get shorter. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Actually, it hasn't been for I, I I made myself too old, but whatever. It's been a long time. It's been a while. But uh, yeah, you can. I'm sure if anybody still is is working at the Honolulu Airport, which I, I think it's Inouye, uh, is the, the yeah former senator from. Oh uh, yeah. It's named after like him Ken now. somebody. Huh? Ken, I think yeah, Kenneth Inouye. Uh, anyway, uh, that airport. Uh, you can find me in the in the in the employment roles under John Fitzgerald. <laughs> Because <laughs> that was that was my official federal ID that I used to go through that airport. It was they they made a typo on it, and oh, I and no. I took it to them, and I'm like, look, you you spelled my name wrong. And they're like, it's so much of a hassle. This is just your name now. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Yep. That's amazing. Mm, yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're there for a wedding. It's a, a very dear old family friend of Leah's. So we're there for the wedding. Mm-hmm. Great time. Uh, we the the wedding's the day after we arrive, so we spend the day just kind of fucking around, go to bed, get up the next day, basically just get ready for the wedding and, and head to get on the bus. They're mm-hmm. gonna bus us to the site. Right. I thought it was gonna be like um, probably like 15 minutes away. It's a 45 minute bus ride. Was it a Roberts to, of Hawaii bus by chance? Uh, maybe. Okay. okay. <laughs> There's two buses. There's a there's a smaller bus for all the adults, like right. the older people, and then there's a all the like the younger cousins and friends and stuff are on the bigger bus, which we we made the bigger bus, so I'm very excited about that. Nice. 
and at the time it didn't it's like oh that's weird all the older people are getting on this bus and we're getting oh okay whatever didn't occur to me now <laughs> i i will it will make sense later so we get <laughs> we get on the road and i have not taken dramamine i didn't think it was gonna be a long bus ride so i'm starting to feel a little queasy mm-hmm. I'm not super excited i'm like okay i just have to keep looking straight ahead don't you know just focus on 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 being cool just be cool cat just, just be cool be cool I say that all the time. So, you do. You have to. Because I'm never cool. Yeah, you so are. we get In to the way. we get to the spot. It's mm-hmm. beautiful. It's uh, you've probably been there. It's where they end up shooting some locations for Jurassic Park. I think it's like Kailua Ranch or something. Okay. But you can go RVing. You can go uh, not RVing. Um, ATVing. You can go horseback right. riding. They have all kinds of cool stuff to do there, and there's a beautiful place to have a wedding. Nice. So. We the the buses drop us off. We you know have this beautiful ceremony. It's beautiful. You love it, it's what you imagine a Hawaiian wedding to be. Sure. And then uh, the, the family's taking photos. It's cocktail hour, so the bar is open. Love it. And my timey. It's my timey. <laughs> and so the um the bride and groom the week before everybody started arriving, they went to Costco. They they bought a shit ton of booze. Mm-hmm. The bartenders show up with all what uh, everything they need. Right. And so, you know, that way, whatever's left, you can return and, you know, you only pay for their, their services. The booze is on you. So that's act- I think that's that's great. Oh, yeah. That's... It's going to be a lot cheaper that way. It's still not cheap, exactly. but a lot cheaper. Yeah. Totally. So cocktail hour begins and, um, uh, the, I mean, there is never n- not someone at the bar getting a drink. Right. Uh, I'm. That's how imp- paradise works, Kat. That I mean, and this is paradise. And I'm like, oh, good. This is gonna be a, a drinking wedding, because like I don't want to be, like the only the one. The only one. Look. No. Hmm. Not a problem, because <laughs> everyone and their brother literally is doing like you know, we're, it's just like Get a ch- two, like here. Because they're yeah. small. <laughs> like oh my oh wow these are like they're serious here this is my kind of family. There we go. And it's the it was the bride sign, so we were on. Like, you know, oh, the groom side over there, we were mm-hmm. on the bride side. We were at the California table. It was all our California friends, okay. which is great. We were table nine, table nine forever. Um, <laughs> and so as the night proceeds, um, you know, the uh, right as the bride and groom first sit down at the table during the reception, mm-hmm. the bride's father gathers up a bunch of the cousins and uncles and goes and gets a bunch of shots and does a big, they, they stand around the table and they're like, everybody's done it. So they do the shot. Oh, great. The table mm-hmm. next to us was a bunch of cousins and every two minutes they're cheersing something. Like, ah, family. Got blah, a lot blah, blah, to be blah. happy about. So we're like, well, shit, we gotta, we gotta show up here. So we, <laughs> we were like, table nine. And we started toasting ourselves. The cousins joined in table nine. Like it was great. It was a yep. huge party. Mm-hmm. The dancing was off the hook. It, it was just incredible. The, the bride made me do shots with her. It was great. <laughs> incredible party, John. I've, honestly, I've never been to a wedding like this. I, I, I'm. It's goals. Hashtag goals. Got it. So it's tenth. Oh, and <laughs> the bartenders are like after the first hour, they're like, "You guys have gone through ten bottles of booze. You need to slow down." <laughs> <laughs> You know it's bad when the bartender's telling you to take it easy. I mean, yeah, it's not like they, <laughs> he's not making any extra money. Like I, I think at that point, uh, oh, he's still, I'm sure he's still getting tips. People are um, being cool. She, John. Oh, she, oh, oh, I just wow. assumed. Wow. 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 <laughs> I misgendered the bartender. I apologize. You assumed, and shame on you. No. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> and so, and at one point they'd run out of like not as good whiskey mm-hmm. so the father of the bride was like let's do some whiskey shots so they, <laughs> he grabbed a bottle of mccallan oh. and was pouring with, oh, oh it's no. like like 15 dollars shots basically like he's like it's fine it's fine i mean <sighs> I, I have to assume that stuff is a little more expensive in hawaii because everything has to get <laughs> flown have, or i would imagine there. it is i think a, sh- a shot of mccallan depending on how many years is it a 12 <sighs> year 14 i think it was a, I think it was a 12 year okay 12 years not so bad but uh but yeah you're right about 15 dollars a shot <laughs> it's sure. not, i mean it's it's an expense. And you're not supposed to shoot you McAllen. Shouldn't shoot. You should never <laughs> shoot a single malt it's a, scotch. It's a not sip. A good one. You got to yeah. sip and enjoy. Anyway. It's a sipper. Mm-hmm. Um, and at one point, 
I think the brother of the bride was walking around with a, a, a you know, a expensive bottle of tequila, just handing it out like, hey, you want to go? Wow. Yep. So at 10.30, lights out, party's over, you got to leave. So we have to be like out the door. Nobody can drive, so hopefully there's transport. Well, the bu- <laughs> so the buses are back. Okay. But John? Yes, Kat. People are wasted. Yes. This is, I'm like, oh no, this is going to be... This is going to be bad. Like <laughs> some people are being carried to the bus. Oh no. So the old the older people <laughs> they get in the bus first. And so the way that this property works is that, you know, it's it's this beautiful property and you're right up against um you know those I'm I'm you know, but like people at home. When you see the shots of like Jurassic Park when the helicopters coming in, those right, big the... sheer cliffs yeah, just green, yeah. we're mm-hmm. right up against that. So like it's you're up on a hill. So Sure. The buses are coming around to pick us up, but there's no flat area. It's just like, they're just like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's imagine a 45 degree angle. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you have to literally climb on yep. and pull yourself onto the bus. Wow. So the old, old I don't say old people, the older people, just mm. more distinguished, mm-hmm. get in their bus, the bus goes. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Watching all the cousins and the friends try to get on this bus. Mm-hmm. It was a complete shit show. <laughs> um, you know, one woman who we'd been walking back to the bus with was like, I don't have my phone. I don't have my phone. I don't have my phone. So <laughs> she, Leah's like, oh, I will help you go find it. And uh-huh. then some other guy's like, no, no, I'm going back. Let's go. So luckily, Leah didn't get roped into that. Sure. And like they're, you know, the the wedding people are getting a little like annoyed with us by this point. They're like, you guys, you have, you, you we have to leave. be out of it. We gotta yeah. go. Like we're mm-hmm. gonna get in trouble. We gotta go. So people are just being pulled out of this bus, and they're handing out uh, garbage bags to people. Like, hey, if you're gonna get sick, can yeah, you can you puke this. into this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so we get on this bus, and I don't mean to. I don't want to sound like I'm an old person, but John, the music was just too loud. <laughs> you the know, party... you know the rule. If it's too loud, you are what? Oh. You're too old. That's so true. the music was pumping. The party is basically the party just continued on the bus. So, sure. you know, as soon as the lights go out, one of the one of the the groomsmen is an actual DJ. He he DJed a set at the wedding, which was dope. Mm-hmm. But he just has a phone and he's just like DJing from Spotify. He's mm-hmm. like he knows what the people want. I turn and look in the back. Mm-hmm. There, no one's sitting, John. It's like Fair a big tr- it's a big charter bus, but right, no one's right. sitting. The whole back of the bus is just a dance party. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing. And <laughs> there's people. And it's the bus. It's not like some like little, you know, very uh, flat road. We're no. like coming down Going, from the mountains. Yeah. Like switchback. So mm-hmm. everyone's just moving around. Like the bride <laughs> is getting bumped around. It's like, this is insane. I, I don't, I can't relate to these people at all. I've never been this crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, I'm, again, it was fantastic. It was, mm. to wa- just watching it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so finally we are, and I, I felt fine. I def, I definitely did my own, I did my fair share of drinking, but nothing the like fact, what I'd witnessed. The fact that you can recount the tale tells me you, you didn't have as much as oh, some as, of these people. As mm-hmm. good of a time. Yeah. 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 Um, so we make it back to the hotel. Everybody's got to get off the bus. <laughs> I see, I see ba- like full bags of oh, things like oh. people luckily we didn't see hear smell any of that but people did have uh, a hard time on the way back they, they bagged it up all they right they bagged it up they're gonna take um, that wedding dinner to go <laughs> <laughs> so we get off the bus i'm just like i've never been so happy to be back on ground because i didn't want to get sick it's like right. i don't i don't i don't want to get sick on a bus like Mm-mm. this and i don't know anyone really mm-hmm. so like that i don't want to be that person but apparently i would not have been the only person so I mean, you know table nine I mean, y'all are, table y'all are tight. nine. Didn't you all get table nine, nine tattoos? Like... Oh, I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> table nine for life. Mm. So mm. we get off the bus. People are like, oh, it's after party, after party. I'm like, I ain't going to after party. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just happy to be back. And they were going to have an after party in the, the bridal suite. But someone was like, no, that's a terrible idea because 
we're going to get, like the cops are going to show up or something. Like yeah. they're not going to be quiet about it. So I'm like, okay, go have, you know what? You kids have a great night, you know, mm-hmm. have a good night, whatever. So we go up to our room, beautiful room overlooking the front marina. And that's where you can see the, the bus, you know, the bus is still there. And let's, oh, this is a good show. We're just watching it. Mm-hmm. So we're continuing to watch outside to see everybody coming and going and the chaos of people running around. And <laughs> we see like 12 people who we recognize like oh that's our that's the wedding party right they go into the marina and they start getting on a boat a sailboat oh oh I'm like oh that's oh that's but interesting this seems Ill, ill-advised and more people keep coming and more people more people. and then the bride we see the bride i'm like oh no oh, they're boy. getting on this bus uh this boat hmm. and then we're like well maybe they're just gonna hang out on the boat maybe they're just gonna hang out in the marina like just Mm -hmm. stay in the slip that they're in but like hang out on the boat and then we hear somebody down there go hurry up we're leaving like oh no they're taking the boat out oh (laughs) Oh, this is gonna end in tragedy (laughs) this is not how i wanted this 12 drowned in mauna loa bay (laughs) exactly so we think there was about 20 people on this on this sailboat it's a normal size sailboat Mm mm-hmm and Lo and behold, put 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 put. They pull out of that slip and they just go into the night. <laughs> We're like, that oh, is, that is crazy. No, 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 no. And you know, we're like, all right, well, I guess we'll see him in the morning. <laughs> so I had to get up to go to the bathroom in the night. So I, I go over to the window and I look out, mm-hmm. and the boat was back. Okay, good. So the boat made it back. It was around mid, uh, around one o'clock. Hopefully, whoever was skippering that. <laughs> the, the thing was, was at least slightly less trashed than everybody else. So, so it turns out two people from Table 9, they okay. knew this guy who happened to live in his boat mm-hmm. in Honolulu. And he's like, yeah, after the, after the wedding, come by and I'll take you guys out. So he did. And nobody they didn't lose anybody. Everybody That's made it good. back. Some people, most people passed out. Mm-hmm. Some people were sick. <laughs> and But they had karaoke on the boat. <laughs> so we, there was a beach chill out day the next day, like recovery day, basically. Sure. And the bride's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was karaoke. I was singing karaoke on the boat. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, she was just singing. She's like, no, take a look. And there's a little karaoke thing. And she's <laughs> dancing and singing on the boat. Sure. And I'm like, wow, I'm I love so it. impressed with you guys. So you, you, you said you saw the bride. Now, was this a, a two bride situation or a bride no, no, and no. groom? Or? This is a, it was a more traditional okay. um it was boring. Uh, it was bo- <laughs> well, no, not boring at all because <laughs> uh, no, exactly, exactly. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a a, a man and a woman okay. decided to marry each other. That that happens sometimes still. It does uh, it does. The, so was the groom on the boat as well? I hope he was. Okay, good. <laughs> good. It was mostly the it was it, it really seemed like it was the bridal party. So it was the groomsmen, mm-hmm. uh, all the uh, uh, bridesmaids. And then table nine, the two table nine people table who made nine it happen. Table up nine, all the cool spots. You can you can always count on table nine. That's that's my understanding. Um, and so then Lee and I had uh went out on our own. We rented a car. We got a convertible. We're driving around Hawaii. Uh, it was really nice and fun. And mm. then the night before we were gonna go home, they had a booze cruise. And so we're like, oh hell yeah, we're doing the booze cruise. Let's prove we haven't learned our lesson. <laughs> That's what that is. So we go on this boat. <laughs> and it's mostly us, the party, mm-hmm. but there's maybe like six people who just happened to buy the tickets for the same boat as, as we did. Okay. And they had no idea what was coming. <laughs> they they so, bought a ticket to more than just the boat. Oh, was, they got a mm-hmm. they got a show. Yep. Um and so John, you know, you get on this you get on the dock and they're like, "Okay, everybody, get on the boat, but you can buy this cup. Mm-hmm. It's $50. <laughs> it's unlimited drinks. Oh, no. Bottomless li- oh, booze what? on a oh, boat. It, it lights up, John. So it's little <laughs> LEDs at the bottom. <laughs> Otherwise, it's $6 for beers and 12 bucks for mixed drinks. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. And I'm like, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Leah's like, you should just do it. She's like, you're, you know, you, you just get your money's worth. I'm like, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> you said it on me. You know, you could have four mixed drinks for <laughs> for two dollars less than that <laughs> cup. And the problem is, wait, like, if you're me, 
you got to get your money's worth if you spent the 50 bucks. So Obviously. you have to have at least five drinks. Exactly. And Leela isn't drinking right now. She's not uh, okay. indulging. And so we got two tick. We got each got a drink ticket. And they're like, well, if you t- cash in one of your drink tickets, then you get ten dollars off. I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> I can't afford not to get the party <laughs> cup. So I got I got the party cup. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't the only one. And so we we um. We shuffle on the boat, no shoes, so you have to put take off your shoes before mm-hmm. you get on the boat. And I was like, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall, man. I'm I'm gonna eat shit on this boat. So we get on the boat. Luckily, you know who should sponsor this podcast? Who's that? Dramamine. Dramamine. I okay. took Dramamine about yeah. an hour before we headed out, which is what you're supposed to do. I've heard that will actually uh, intensify your drunkenness if you drink while you're oh, on it. Oh, even better. <laughs> Party and cup I, plus Dramamine. Exactly. Yeah. That's the combo. This is what the mm-hmm. kids are doing. So I I think I've mentioned on this podcast, John, I, I have motion sickness pretty mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And boats in particular are uh, ho- usually horrible experiences for me. Okay. <laughs> so I took some Dramamine. And the boat, we're, we're doing this. Mm. There's a lot of this. Like all the motions that you can yeah. possibly You're do. Moving on every, every possible axis. Mm-hmm. Didn't feel a thing. Sweet. It was, I had the best night of my life. Oh, that's... <laughs> so it's a sunset cruise. The sun's going down. The beautiful lights in the Waikiki Bay are, like, lit up. It's golden mm. hour. The booze is flowing. People are dancing. The music is really loud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was a blast. We had a great I time. It. it was I good. It. A lot, it's a, It was a Toronto-heavy guest list on mm-hmm. the for the wedding. So a lot of Drake, which is fine. Okay. It's not, it's not the best. I mean, I'll give not, it to him. Not a yeah. big fan of Drake, but that's fine. A lot of Justin Bieber. <laughs> it was just so. I forget fun. he's Canadian. I I, I, I like when I remember because then I'm like, oh, good, he's not ours. <laughs> <laughs> so again, party's over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are all really drunk. <laughs> so we get into into the marina. They're like, okay, you gotta go. Um, and luckily, everybody else had lifted, and Leah was driving our convertible. And so they're like, okay, we got to go eat. So they found this great uh, uh, udon bar. Like, oh, love me some udon. Just awesome food. So we, everybody rah, 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 scarfed that up. And we were supposed to go to do karaoke after, but everybody just bailed. They're like, oh, I'm going yeah. to bed. Um, so it was like another great night. Um just and the next morning I felt fine. I had no business feeling fine, John. I had like six my times. I feel like maybe you should be taking Dramamine even when you're not going on a boat. Maybe, maybe that's that's the missing ingredient. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I might experiment with that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so so that was great. We had a great time. Incredible just to be able to blow off some steam. Because the the van trip ended up being kind of stressful for me. Yeah. Um, but this trip was just, just a lot of fun. We had you a great time. got to let go a little bit. Definitely let go. Mm-hmm. And then, um, we got home on, uh, Friday. Yep. And then yesterday, that was two days ago. And then yesterday we spent all day at Disneyland. And frankly, I, I'm in a whirlwind here. I don't know what day it is. I don't yeah. know what time zone I'm in. It's all so much, but it's all good things, and I'm very fortunate. And the writer, uh, the dr- uh, actor strike is over. Yeah. So everything's gonna gonna start moving pretty quick yeah. now. I'm glad so, that you had a chance to get some stuff. Yeah. In. Definitely. Me too. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's you know that's it. That's all I've been up to. Oh, cool. <laughs> I love it. I love hearing the story. I'm glad that even though there were problems, and frankly, when there are problems, it's content. Uh, but but I'm glad that even though there were problems, they were not insurmountable. You yes. surmounted them. And uh, you went to Hawaii. You went to Disneyland. You've been having a great time. I uh, Yeah. I like to see my friend happy. And, thank, uh, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> All right. Well, I feel like uh, I feel like that's a, that's a show. That's a show, I my feel friend. Like we have made a show. Mostly, you have made a show, and I am. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like it. So I'm, exa- I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. No, me too. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. And, Hell yeah. Uh, hopefully, Hell wake yeah. up uh, ready to do interviews and stuff. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, I love you. I'm glad I you're back you. and that you're safe. Thank you. It's and good to be back. 
Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess this is a point where we, you know, fuck Mike Pence. Fuck Mike Pence. <laughs>